Kevin here, who attacked David Von Erich last week prior to that uh, championship match at the time of the tag team match, has been fined a thousand dollars. Now, uh, of course, that is an appropriate fine. Who's going to pay that? Does he pay it or do you pay it? Well, it's it's uh, it comes out of the company funds more or less. Well, what, half what's and the half. company fund? I mean, well, you've got a half corporation and half. here. It's uh, he pays five hundred. You pay five hundred. Is that right? Why are you getting into my business? Who pays what? It's merely. Bill, An NWA legal okay, means. I want to find out. These paid, are your men. Do you the handle it? Fine will be paid at the deadline. That's the only thing that you should be in. Pay half, Mark, and he's going to pay half. Is that right? Just leave Lewin alone, Bill. Okay, Let's right. talk about things that have some meaning and not things that are in. But you, uh, you certainly didn't agree with that kind of move that he made on David Von Eric. Sometimes Mark Lewin does things, and I don't even understand why. All right, now let me, I'm sorry to go into a negative tone, but I, you have lost the Texas Tag Team Championship now. The Bruiser and Kerry won that. What is, what for the future of uh, Spawn or Lewin in that, Mark? Well, I think I went at it the wrong way. I'm a, an intelligent man will admit his faults. And I needed a different combination. Not saying that the Spoiler and Mark Lewin are not a great combination. But I think what we need is a little bit of competitiveness there. Brooks, between the two of them? No, between Brooks and Lewin, they both have a desire to win. Yeah. Now, it has been brought up many times that if I could not lead the Spoiler and Lewin to the Texas title, what chance would I have with Mark Lewin and Tim Brooks, who everyone believes and tries to say because you want to make them believe that Lewin and Brooks don't get along. All right, now, why? You're going to put them in against uh, uh, Kerry Von Erich and Bruce on Monday night. You're going to find out if they can work as a team and concentrate and have discipline because yep. they have to have that. Now, can they do in. that? Can you do that? Simple, simple that? teamwork. Can you and Lewin work together? Sure. Oh, I'm, question, right. please. He, he was standing there. He could answer it. Just uh, ask said, me the right. question. Can these two men work together in a tag They can do anything. I am always in complete control, Bill. Maybe you want to allude to these people that I'm not, but I am. I want to just make a little demonstration. I okay. This is an impromptu little thing here. Right. Mark, 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 Mark. I just want to show something, okay? You know the little exercise routine with the forearms across the chest? Just, okay. Timmy, I want you to drive one home, Brooks. Drive it home, Brooks. What are we going to see here? Okay. Lord, Lord, drive it home. Drive it home. Okay. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. You want to see? Tim, drive it home. Drive it home. Drive it home. Drive it home, brother. Okay, whoa. I suppose it's proving something now. Get, get, get. The proof is in the pudding, dude. Everything is all right, the pudding. The proof is in the pudding, brother. Wait a minute. Well, I, uh, I don't think the pudding is really uh, in good shape. move out of the way as these two. Gary has his pudding problems right now. Oh, we got all sorts of problems here. Brooks came up with a pipe. And, uh, well, if they're going to wrestle as a team Monday night, I'm going to be uh, surprised. Uh, I, I handled think, it, I, didn't I? I think you got a problem. I handled it, didn't I? Well, I mean, a fight will ultimately stop. Is there a yeah. fight going on? Can anybody see a fight going on? Uh, we saw one going on. I want to see you handle it Monday night. I just handled it here, brother. You think you can handle it? The fight did not take place. It did not? What did we see here? A little flare of tempers. But there's no fight here now. No fight here now. Because I can take care of my business. Pardon me, let, what happened to your head? Why don't you ask Hal Cohn what happened to my head? Oh, right. I uh, will ask Hal Cohn what happened to your head. Now, let me ask you. Do you really believe, if we speculated on it, do you really believe that Gary Hart handled this? I mean, after all, how long... <laughs> How long can he keep getting himself bashed about trying to separate Brooks and Lewin? And if that is the, uh, if that is handling it, then I'm not sure how long that uh, that 
team can last or how long that whole episode of Gary Hart managing those two can last. But Gary, of course, is driven by, well, a great thing that seems to drive a lot of people, money and greed. And I suppose as long as he can make some money out of it, he'll put his head in there and try to keep things separate and we'll never see a fight. You didn't see a fight. You just thought you saw a fight. We'll be back for another bout with Kevin Von Erich and Lewin right after this. I want it known that he is protesting the pairings in this match, both men from his stable. He said only because he is a good, righteous man would he allow this match to go on. One ball. I'm obeying the rules laid out in the contract. A very unusual tactic, I might say. One fall, 15-minute time limit. From Waxahachie, Texas, Mad Dog uh, Brooks. And in the far corner, Buffalo, New York, maniac Mark Lewin. Uh, your referee, Bronco Lubitsch. Assisted by Gary Hart because of the way it was set up. Well, it was because they were both knocked out of the ring at the same time. Hey, a couple of great ones coming, by the way. Mil Mascaris, who is an idol of the American heavyweight champion, El Halcón. Mil Mascaris, a legend in his own right, in Mexico, the world. And Mascaris is a great, great praise for El Halcón. A protege of El Santo. Coming up is a very tough customer, Otto Van Heller. Uh, our main interest is Neil Mascaris, who is one of the great names, great legends of wrestling. But right now, one fall, 15 minutes time, and then Ruin and Brooks. Gary Hart coming out, and we'll see how this one goes. Ruin telling that Gary to. Sit down and cool it. It's interesting. I, Gary, I missed your protest. What was the basis of the protest? I think it's ridiculous when they expect that two very important stars in my stable have to wrestle each other to honor the contract stipulation. But I have instructed them to wrestle and nothing more. I don't want fluid using karate. No, not tonight, Mark. Not with Brooke. I see. Okay. And what about Brooke? I've instructed him to wrestle. I'm, it's a good way for me to get two of my top boys hurt. And what do I make out of it? Nothing. Well, you went into the Battle Royal. That was part of the uh, deal. And now, Lewin instructed not to use karate. I can't imagine that Lewin can remember all that. Maybe he can. Oh, he didn't remember it. As Judo, it's okay. No, no, no karate. Just Judo. Okay, Judo's okay. And Lauren and Brooks. Very hard yelling at him, didn't want anybody hurt. I think Gary's going to have a lot of apologies to make all around. Very yelling at him to follow the rules. interesting matchup here and of course it bothers Gary Hart because these two men who have had you know Gary I just a couple weeks ago we had an interview and these two had a little of this to come in there think we should bring out hard feelings that arise in my organization that was just a sudden thing but the tempers are a possibility things like that happen in competition but let's not dwell on that I won't dwell on it I'll just <laughs> bring it out Gary does not like to dwell on what he considers a negative, and I just consider the continuing saga and drama building up to the next step. Mark Lewin does not like the way his head was messed around with there. So these two are kind of trying to follow the rules of Gary Hart, change their general behavior techniques and now I pick up here Gary Hart yelling and Mark takes the karate away Mark almost went with a karate chop because his shoulder hurts I will kind of play this in my ear as Gary gives instructions occasionally but who 
would you interpret the particular type of animalistic call that uh, Mark Lewin gives there? What you, can you can you? Uh, it's the same it? thing if you would see uh, Randy White hit somebody hard, you let the energy out. If I blew the reach of I would dunk a basketball, he would let some energy out. It's just uh, a way of releasing. I see. Uh, Sounds like yeats. Very hard is really having his problem. Now he is in a Rockolovich trying to referee and Gary is really in a particularly peculiar situation where his own men are trying to battle him and yet not destroy what goodwill there might be between them or among them considering the spoilers here it might be better that one or the other had uh, the Lewin says come here and give me a hand and Gary says no just go right ahead really when you take the karate chops and plays away from Lewin you've got all sorts of problems, and Lewin says he's hurting my arm. Six minutes are gone, six minutes gone. Nine minutes left. One thing I would have to credit Gary Hart is with integrity in this match, he could have had one of his men just take a take a spill, you know, just uh, take the count. But Gary uh, trying to uh, maintain the integrity and the dignity of Lashley. I instructed them both to fight for a victory. And then, whoop, there's a chop. And now they're going after it. Despite what Gary Hart says, I think this thing's going to open up, and I don't think Gary's going to be able to control it. Gary right here can lose a sizable amount. Over the top rope. Over the top rope. And I don't think Rockwell Lewis considers that. And they're batting right down there. Little, little table here. And there goes Gary. And we're going to this side and take a look. up to about 16 or 17. And uh, chairs and everything. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's all over. It's been counted out. <laughs> Sorry there. Trying to get out of the way. The microphone here. Really, the match is over. is over both are disqualified and Gary Hart has a great deal to do much like the United Nations or a peace commission to try to get everybody back peacefully he's got a lot to do now just to get out and here they go with two wild men like that, it is totally impossible. They have had a little hard feeling, as I said, for a week or so. Oh, here comes the bell ringer. And 
up. Mark Wood with a bell ringer in his hand. That's a piece of solid steel. 